Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today we have a very interesting car, a car for everybody basically, and it's the Entrance AMG, the first one. Does it deserve the badge? We will find out. But before we start the review, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, it helps us out. Push the algo, man. Let's begin with the design. So looking at it from the front, it's an AMG 835. And to be honest, it feels a little bit yeah it's not really that spicy okay it's it's kind of it's kind of nice it's a nice face very nice and smiles to the world but it's not aggressive i miss that amg vibe but that is what they have done with the a45s you know putting the carbon fiber stuff on and uh, aerodynamic bits and all of that but it looks nice it has a nice front and i like looking at it it's really a nice looking car but it's not that aggressive and i I think they miss a little bit of that AMG vibe. The headlights look very nice. I like them. Of course, we have some openings here to cool the engine, for example, and to let the air travel around the tire to reduce drag. That is nice. What is great though, what I will admit instantly is the brake. I love the AMG brakes from the latest generations, especially on those small cars. 360 millimeters in the front, 330 millimeters in the back. If you go on the brake, it really, really brakes really hard. The greenhouse is very compact. Of course, they put some luxury elements on like this door handle here that I know from the C-Class, the latest generation. Very nice with the chrome on the top. A little bit of a separation on black, black roof here, black on the side where the B pillar is and of course black surrounding the rear windows. That is okay. I like that. That looks fancy and it matches with the wheels. Very nice black and yellow design. And then in the back, of course, some sporty elements, two exhaust pipes. I like them actually. I think they look very nice. And then the diffuser here for some extra spice. But again, it's not that aggressive as an A45S. So would I rate it a real AMG from the looks? I would say no, no, I don't think this matches the AMG at all. You know, if, if it was like a sport, if they, maybe it's just a name convention, but just thinking about it, I mean, it's, it's really bullshit. 835, what does that even mean? Before you could tell, okay, a 55 is a 5.5 liter, a 63 is a 6.3 liter. Now, what is it? What is it all about? What's the 35, 45? I mean, this doesn't even have the AMG engine. We're talking about it a little later. This is a little bit confusing and I wouldn't say that this is a real AMG from the looks. Let's look at the engine. Let me pop to it and show you what the engine is all about on the A35 AMG. And again here, I have to tell you, I really have to tell you, this is not an AMG engine. This is the M260 engine, which is basically from the A250. So they just took the normal engine, put the AMG badge on, tuned it a little bit so it produces 306 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, accelerates from 0 to 104.7 seconds with the 7-speed MCT gearbox and tops out at 250 kph. That is solid. That's okay. And a positive thing is also that it uses less fuel, okay? They don't push too much bar into the engine. So this car is able to produce around 7.3 liters to 100 kilometers. Me, as a very, very interested sports car fanatic, I would say the engine is not really good for that car and it doesn't deserve the AMG badge. Although it sounds nice, you know, but it, it, it misses the spice, you know. When you drove a CLA45S or an A45S, it really misses the spice. It revs up to 6,500 RPMs, but the A45S engine revs up to 7,700 RPMs, man. And this is where it then really gets emotional. So, uh, I think you should have a listen. All right, welcome to the interior. Even though I didn't like the outside very much for an AMG car, I mean, it's a solid six, seven out of 10, you know, it, it looks nice. They take all the points in terms of interior, man. I mean, this interior is absolutely beautiful. There is nothing else to say. I mean, for an entrance car, okay, to get that premium feel of an interior, and I would even go as far and say they are the king of interiors in that segment, man. I mean, Audi and BMW don't have anything to offer to that. 
it's really really a nice and fancy look starting with the materials leather of course this is the steering wheel that you would even get in the s63 amg so it's very very nice it looks beautiful with the silver element and the combination of leather and of course this track tool then we have leather seats that feel absolutely beautiful and hold you very tight into the seat you can adjust the side here you can adjust the lower doors you, you can put it into kinetic mode where it then sort of when you drive it moves the seat a little bit forward adapts it to your position basically so that you don't fall asleep and your muscles don't get sore from a long drive that is beautiful i like the air vent design this is very very nice i like the ambiente light that they put into this car especially when you're driving in the night i like the infotainment system because it has so much options to to choose and so much fancy gadget that somebody that needs a sports car also really wants to have i mean i can check the oil temperature i can check the uh, gearbox oil temperature i can check all of those things i see how much newton meters i use how much power what it produces how much kilowatts it's very very nice it's really really a beautiful infotainment system I like the touch bed here because it's not in that shiny or that i drive system from bmw where it then gets sparkling and your fat is sticking on it it's very nice i like here the fact that they put even here a piece of leather chunk so you can enjoy and the steer yeah, the infotainment system the vibration is also very nice the buttons feel great very very beautiful for an entrance car this is more than an entrance car you feel very good sitting inside it and there's just one negative part and i mean it's only the plastic but it really it really disappears especially when you look at it like from here you see that plastic but it's it has been colored black of course it's going to have some scratches and so on but it feel it feels solid you know it's really not that bad also opening this part here revealing those two cup holders it's very nice i really like it you can charge your phone here in the front and as i said it is a solid nice feel inside the car leather also on the side of the door here leather on the top leather here on the dashboard we have a head-up display and we have this panoramic roof i mean that is great and you can actually close it here i just have to start the car up i guess so let's do that all right worked now i can close this roof here which is very very nice i really like it this is this is very nice and it goes actually really a lot uh, in the behind when you open i mean it really exposes you to it's almost like a targa man it's really really nice that is great i mean uh, at this point you should really check out the driving's review because there's a lot of positive things to say about the driving's experience with that car but i want to show you a little bit of the infotainment because there's really some fancy fancy gadgets my absolute favorite thing about the infotainment system is this amg performance gauge because when you press it and you go inside the engine facts you can see the oil temperature in degrees celsius you see the uh, gearbox temperature you see how much power the car is producing how much new tomatoes you're producing it's very very nice and then you can even check uh, you can even change of course the driving modes to a lot of modes actually you have ice mode individual mode comfort sport sport plus you can turn the esp off you can set the car to be in manual mode by the press of a button and it sticks to manual mode and the rpm gauge is also very nice going from left to right in the uh, head-up display and it's a high resolution so it's very nice it's a beautiful place to be in and the seats feel very very comfortable so this is my driving's position i would adjust of course the steering wheel to sort of this length what i also like is the feel of the buttons i mean this feels so premium it has a very nice spring mechanism when you push it down push it up it feels rock solid very nice also for the indicator beautiful sound beautiful colors very nice also the spring mechanism on the uh, the windows left and right and back are very nice so they they kind of give you this luxury feeling still and sad news for you maybe you didn't know it but they won't continue the a-class and the cla anymore so this is a dying uh, breed and if you want one get it now <laughs> all right let's check uh, the rear seats all right check this the rear seats very nice okay this is a beautiful seat design front seat the space is okay okay it's it's it's, uh, it's not that much of course i'm a little bit of a taller guy but still 
I have plenty of headroom. Maybe if the driver would uh, go a little bit f uh, further in the, to the front with its seat, I would have plenty of space. But uh, other than that, I really like the materials used here in the back. It's really nice. Leather, leather on the side of the door, leather on the top here. Very nice armrest here, also covered in leather. Then, of course, put this down. You have integrated cup holders, also very nice, and leather covered here for the armrest. That is good. That's as far as we can take it with the A35 AMG. Does it deserve the AMG badge? I have a split decision here, my friends, because I can't really say yes. In terms of driving, of course, it really feels great. But in terms of overall engine and all of that, I'm not that sure. But find out why in the driving review or POV, make sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Thank you to Remo Auto for lending us these beautiful cars that today's sponsor. And see you on the next one, friends. Goodbye.